walk, still feel no evil. God with me, who against me, seeing dead people? Am I David, slaying problems, giant drug addiction? Lust of love, can't imagine thoughts of losing either. Thinking deeper, Satan, the jeepers, creepers, got me fiending, me redeeming, can't even look in the mirror. My faith is on the balance, read the Bible, get deeper. Shots fired, I'm inspired by dodging the grim reaper, a leader. I've been chosen, my purpose to live for God, let him use you, living through you. Repent, just take up your cross, and... Take up your cross and... Hey, she clapping for you. You ain't gonna say nothing? Mamacita don't gotta say nothing to me. I'm here to show good behavior. She can be stuck up all she want to. Ella no me conoce. loca. What did she say? She said she don't know me. I'm crazy. <laughs> well, hey, at least you look the part, right? Y'all better stop messing with her. She gonna send all y'all to hell. Hey, the joke's on her. We already here. Straight. If she can do that, she definitely needs to go see my baby daddy. He needs to go straight to hell. Hoshan! Hey. 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 hey, ladies. My name is Chantel Cross, and I... Excuse me, ladies, please. Excuse me, ladies, please. You're going to have to do better than that. Can I have your attention, please? Thank you. My name is Chantel. Chantel. I can read. Where did it get you from? Well, I'm originally from Pulaski. My cousin flew you from there. You know him? No, I don't. Does she look like she know any of your cousins? Poochie, Lucci, or Gucci? Shut up. You got kids? Yes, I have two boys. Ah, oh, I got two boys too. She ain't seen them in two years. Tanya, really? What, Lisa? The girl got a mattress full of bed bugs. She's got tracks all over her arms and she's serving a 10 year sentence. Ugh. So you're just gonna put her business out like that? I'm just keeping it real. So what? I guess you gonna tell her God loves her too? Yes. He does. Well, he sure loves you. You are educated and sanctified looking. And a sinner saved by grace. You just see the cover of this book. You don't know the story. Your story can't be all that bad. The only difference between all of you and me is that I didn't get caught. Shut up. You? Nah. I don't believe it. Don't let these clothes fool you. No way. You ain't even about that life. No, not anymore. I'm about his life, Jesus' way of life. He's teaching me to walk every day. He is the way, the truth, and the life. So what exactly was you doing? Okay, for starters, I've been clean for 19 years from crack cocaine. Yeah, me, Miss Stuck Up, used to be a crackhead. Nah, chica, I, I don't it. see it. I, I used to be one of those people who said I would never do this and that, and eventually I found myself doing things that I said I would never do. I lived in a small town. I loved attention and did things to get it. My crave is what started me to having parties in which attracted trouble of all sorts. Yes. I'm Miss Dixon. I like to report my neighbor. Yes, she's having loud music and having gangsters all over her house. 
I think so. she's selling drugs and doing the coke. Oh, okay, you'll send some officers out. Thank you so much. God bless you. so long oh sorry renee was playing the music really loud and i couldn't hear you <laughs> oh crazy renee huh so how my girl been doing oh so now i'm your girl huh well, you're always gonna be my girl listen i've been up in here thinking some things through and one thing that's for sure is you chantel i need you baby well i couldn't tell you know with how we left off listen look i'm a changed man well, it's a little too late for that now, Terrence. I've moved on. Moved on? With who? That's none of your business. <laughs> Look, please don't tell me this can't get right, Thomas. <laughs> Listen, I got breaking news for you, baby. That ain't even real. We real. Now say it. Say what? We real. That's stupid. Uh -huh, I'm, I'm waiting. Whatever, we're real. Yeah. That's my girl. You need anything? Yeah. Nothing you can give me over the phone. <laughs> Terrence. Well, you know, when you get out, I'm all yours. Yeah, you better be. I miss you. Yeah, I know. I gotta go. Okay. okay. I love you, T. Yeah, you better. What? What? <laughs> Look, I'm just playing with you. I love you, too. Something. Sorry, but that show has been canceled. What? I can still show you the door if you want. Oh, it's like that? Was that T on the phone? So we've been kicking it all this time, but as soon as he called, you gonna quit us like that? Us? Sweetie, sorry to break it to you, but there never was an us. Look, you ain't gonna just leave me on and just play me like that. You better let go of my arm. You better let go of my sister's arm. For what? Well, me. Hey, you know you need to get up off my sister, cuz. Big man with the gun, huh? Nah, more like big brother looking out for little sister. Hey, you need a roll. Chantel, don't you call me again. Bye. You better watch your back. How about I put a cup in yours again at the door in three? Get out of my way. Look, you gotta stop leading these fools on like that, sis. Look, it's fine. He nah, right? For real, for real. They don't be playing around like that. Stop Look, Ray, it's fine. I didn't ask you to save me in the first place. All right, let's get this party back going. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's gonna happen to Ray? I don't know. It was self-defense. He was protecting us, right? Of course he was, but they're not gonna see it like that. 
This is all so crazy. I mean, Kurt told me, right? Mm -mm. He... Don't do that. Hey, should we pray? Pray? Yeah. Yeah, we should pray. Nay, you pray. I tell you, no, I, I don't know. Well, try. I need you to try. Come on. Hey, God. Uh, how you doing? Uh, <clears throat> can you please watch over my brother? Um, he did save us, so that means he did something good, right? Please make sure the police don't beat him up. Amen. You have to say Jesus. What? Say Jesus, Renee. Uh, Amy and Jesus. Mrs. Taylor? Yeah? I'm Mrs. Peterson. Why do I care? May I come in? Mrs. Taylor, I am here because your children was in an unsafe environment that had a devastating development occur. Unsafe? Devastating? Yes, very unsafe, Mrs. Taylor. The police reported the usage of drug paraphernalia and gunshots. That type of environment is extremely unsafe for your children. Yo, who the hell is this woman? Mrs. Taylor, that's what I'm trying to tell you. You've been relinquished custody of your children. Relinquished? Mama! Mama! Oh Sorry, Mrs. Taylor, but their father has been notified. I don't care who you call. Go out there and bring my kids back. How you gonna take her kids away? What kind of monsters are you right in front of her face? Really? Ugh. I'm sorry, Mrs. Taylor, but they have been put in the custody of the new legal guardian. Legal, my guardian, my... I'm their legal guardian. I'm their mother. I'm their mother. It's okay. No. 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 I can't believe they took them from me, me, their mom, and they didn't even tell me. And Ray, Ray's in jail. Who this? Who this? The mother of your kids, that's who. Oh, this woman who almost got my kids shot? I did it. I... Look, are they all right? Yeah, they fine now. Let me speak to them. No, they don't want to talk to you. Can I speak to mom? Man, y'all shut up and go to your rooms. Baby, it's all right. Mommy's here. Look, I've been appointed custody, so I'm going to do what you couldn't. Take care of my kids. Look, I am more than capable of taking care of my kids. You can't do... Hello? Hello? Chris? Chris? Chris, pick up the phone. Chris, you can't do... Shay. This. Chris, pick up the... Shay, hang up the phone. But my kids... Hang up the phone. Now. Shay, come in here and sit with us. He has my kids. Just sit down. Just sit down. Look, girl. You need to hit some of this. What is it? It's just a lace blunt. What is it laced with? It's laced with the good, good powder, girl. Powder? Like cocaine? Look, you need to forget. All right? This will help you do that. How can I forget? You will. OK, just, just take a couple puffs. Come on.
Is that it? First of all, you need to do it again. And this time, do it for real. Inhale harder. Come on, it's the good, good girl. Come on. Hello. Hey girl, how you holding up? I'm surviving. I hear that. Please tell me you ain't smoked up all this stuff already. I couldn't help it. Wow. I love it, huh? That baby daddy of yours, did he have a problem with you staying out late last night? No, but he was getting on to me about hanging around you. I'm like, you just want me to diss my sister? What he say? Girl, he was like, She'll be all right. She's trouble for you right now. Hater. He's just mad because he can't have as much fun as you working that third shift job. I know, right? <sighs> he has such a bad attitude sometimes. So, 
When do you plan on throwing another party? I don't know. The place barely survived the last one. Plus, I plan to go see my boo today. So. Mm, I really need to see him. Who? Terrence? Girl, stop. No, I'm serious. I know he's doing a little time, but I'm a ride or die chick, so you already know. Y'all crazy. Why are you taking him back? What did he do to you? We like connected or something. I can't really explain it, but he told me he loved me yesterday. On the phone. That's why that dude flipped out on you when you got off the phone. Mm-hmm. Renee, I thought you made something to eat. Look in the refrigerator. Oh, see it. On the bottom shelf in the back. Stupid. Is this supposed to be green? <sighs> Girl, let me get off this phone before this man eats something that is going to kill him. <laughs> you should let him. Oh. <laughs> All right. Talk to you later. All right. See you. Okay, bye. I accept. What's up, gorgeous? I'm good. It's good to hear. I'm glad you came to visit me the other day. You were looking real good. Oh, hey, slow down. Don't get me excited now. I miss you too. But Chantel, I got something I need to ask you. What is it, T? You love me. What? Do you love me? You know I do, Terrence. Why you ask that? <sighs> well, prove it. Marry me. What? I... How? Well, we can get married in here. Serious? Yeah, this weekend. This weekend? Uh, isn't that a little... Look, do you love me? Yes, but... Ain't no bust to it, Chantel. Listen, I told you, I'm a changed man, baby. And I'm serious. Listen, we real, and we work. I... I guess... I, yes. Yes, Terrence, I'll marry you. <laughs> Hey, hey, we're getting married, y'all. Oh, come on. Hey, man, hey, we, we're getting married. Come on. But listen, I gotta go. Love you. <laughs> Renee, we gotta do something tonight. I mean, I'm engaged. So. I guess I'm okay with you marrying my brother. But just remember, in case something goes down, I am still right across the street. Remember that. Girl, right, get off my sister. We are here to celebrate her engagement. Okay, come on. Well, cheers to that. <laughs> so slick. What you getting? I gotta get you something. Take that. What's this? Some weed and some powder. Hey, hold up, bro. Why you give my sister that, man? Hey, from what I heard, she's smoking already. Sis, you really messing with that now? Chill. Okay, okay. I'm good. Hey, let's go out. Oh, where you going? Play your dominoes. Okay. Play what are you doing? Hey, don't y'all blow all that in one night. So, what you get for me? Oh, we're gonna find our way home. Oh. Mm. Drink to that. Hey, Slick. Now you really can't be giving that to my sister. Ask you something. How you get out of jail anyway? You know they can't hold me down. It was self defense, man. So, what they give you, probation? Yeah, for possession of a weapon. I take the gun? I got another. Hey, I hope you ain't get it from that Buster Rock. You know, he got them effective guns fresh off the boat. I'm teaming up with Oh, uh, no, nah, man. You think I'm gonna end up like Thomas? I hope not. <laughs> oh, can't get right, looking boy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
I'm getting married tomorrow. Dear Mrs. Taylor, due to the change in custody. What the hell? Hello? You couldn't wait, huh? <laughs> wait for what? Oh, really? You know exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, you mean child support. I mean, what can I say? Good luck. Hello? Hello? Chris, you bastard! Chris, next time you- Hey, man. Oh, it's, uh, Slick. Oh, hey, Slick. I thought you were Chris. Yeah, yeah, I got that. But, um, I was calling you because- What is it, Slick? I may have left something over there. Did you come across? What, Slick? You know. Slick, spit it out! I may have left some product over there. You come across it? No. It must have been one heck of a conversation you was having with Chris. Speed it up, Slick! Look, man. If you come across something of mine, let me know, all right? Okay, bye. First, he takes my kids, then he takes my income. Oh, I really need a fix right now. Doesn't anyone know how to knock? I did. Ain't nobody answering. Well, that means don't come in. Whatever, sis. What you doing? Ray, what, what you want? Look, I just come to check on you. Ain't nobody heard from you in a few days, and don't you got a wedding tomorrow? I'll take care of that tomorrow. Help me lift this chair up. Shoot. Where is it? Where is what? Kitchen. Look, I don't know what's going on with you, sis, but, oh my God, this kitchen's a mess. I'll clean it later. For real? You doing that now, sis? Look, this little habit of yours is starting to it's get what? a little. This little habit is what holding me together right now. Look, I'm just worried about you, sis. How about you stop worrying, Ray? I'm about sick of you, okay? My kids are gone. My income is gone. My fiance is in prison and I'm alone. I feel so alone, Ray. Look, you're not alone. I got your back, sis. I always will. You know that, right? Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm sorry, Ray. I love you. Look, I should be apologizing. I feel like this is on my phone, you know? If I would have just... I'm getting married tomorrow, right? Yeah, you are. Repeat after me. I, Terrence Taylor. I, Terrence Taylor. 
Take the Chantel Reynolds. Take the Chantel Reynolds. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poor. For richer or for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. To death do us part. To death do us part. Repeat after me. I, Chantel Reynolds. I, Chantel Reynolds. Take thee, Terrence Taylor. Take thee, Terrence Taylor. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To love and to hold. To love and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poor. For richer or for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. To death do us part. To death do us part. For as much as Terrence Taylor and Chantel Reynolds have consented together in holy wedlock and have witnessed the same before God in this company and thereto have given and pledged their faith to each other, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. So, how does it feel to be a new bride? <laughs> it feels so good, you know, like a void has been filled. Yes. What's wrong with you, Renee? Why are you looking like that? Look, it's been fun. I can't hang around you two anymore. Can't or don't want to? Mm. It's not like that, Shay. Mm. It's not. <sighs> Kurt keeps saying how you two are a bad influence on me. We're a bad influence on you? Really? Well, I only want to do those things when I'm with y'all. Mm. When I'm with him, it's not like that. You're joking, right? Girl, this is just your way of hating. Hating? Yes. Shay is married now, and guess what? You're not. This has nothing to do with it. Oh, really? I could care less about her little locked up marriage. <laughs> Thing is, I'm moving out of state, and I'm glad now. I don't need to be around a bunch of hood rats anyway. Girl, I will smack the, the taste out. Chill, chill, Kira. It's okay. Because, see, it's my wedding day. And I'm mm -hmm. not going to be pulled down right. to your level. Oh. You know why? Because, see, I'm married now. <laughs> married. <laughs> You're trying she to is talk about I'm me. Oh, it's <laughs> tripping. Yeah, you are. Bye, Shay. I'm really gonna miss you. I didn't know you were supposed to get married in prison. When we get out of here, I'm calling Hector. Yeah, disturb him while he's with his side chick. Don't talk about Hector like that. He's a good man. I'm just saying I don't trust him. And I'm just saying, he may not be your favorite, but he's a mine, and we're going to be married. Good luck with that, mi amor. Well, He's definitely not Papi Pablo, huh? You know, marriage ain't all it's cracked up to be. <laughs> I don't know. I like the idea of two people finding each other. I guess I'm just a hopeless romantic that way. Did it help with the loneliness, even though he was like that? It was a temporary happiness, knowing I had a husband. He also sent money to hold me off. How? He was running the block at the time, so he still had people making drops. It just gets better and better. Seems like you got a little judgment in your tone, Maya. Yeah, I picked up on that too. No judgment. I'm just saying. It's fine. I'm used to it. Jesus had to pull me through it. Jesus did that for you? You mean this change you see now? Yes. How? I tried, God. He didn't work for me. And it really pisses me off when people say Jesus did this and that. And don't forget, won't he do it? Yeah, I know, right? No, he won't. Whoa, looks like finally Miss Muffin is coming into her true colors. Shut up, Tanya. <laughs> Ooh, she bites. You better watch yourself. She on a rampage. All right, ladies. Look, Maya. I'm only telling you how he helped me and opened my eyes to deception. 
Deception? Yes, deception is also a drug that we can become addicted to. For example, you'll believe a lie over the truth even when you know the truth. Yeah, like Hector is a good man. Shut up, Lisa. You leave him out of this. I'm just saying, I think you're deceiving yourself and you know it. He's no good. Well, I was deceived by people that called themselves Christians. Have you ever been deceived by men? Yeah, of course. What young girl hasn't? And do you still like men? If not, you know you can come see me. Yeah. And you still give them chance after chance? Yeah, but I'm more aware now on of who's running game and what's real. And that's the same thing with God. Transfer that awareness and you'll know what's real. Sad to say, there are those out there who try and take advantage, but there are also those out there who are true. Unfortunately for me, I was deceiving myself at that age. Drugs were a god to me and it was only getting worse. No. I told him, don't have my baby around that girl. She is too disrespectful and I don't like her. He always claiming he's not with her, but he's over there every day. You know what I'm talking about, girl? Chantel. Chantel, what's wrong? Can't you see it? See what? My skin. Your skin? Is there something on it? No, it's not there. It's gone. What is gone? Turn the car around. Turn the car around now! Chantel, you are tripping. You are tripping. I can't. I can't make it come back. It's, it's not a dream. I'm, take me home. Take me home now. I'm dying. You're dying? Jay, what are you talking? You're scaring me. What's wrong with you? Please tell me. What are you talking about? Call, call my brother. What? Call my brother. I'm dying. You can keep it. Do you know Slick? Excuse me? You know him? Amy. You opted out of the program. You are well aware that you need to leave the premises. Well, I was just asking her for some gum. You think you know everything, Miss Tina, but you don't. Wasn't I just asking you for some gum? Leave. I'm sorry you had to witness that, Chantel. Everybody isn't ready to change. Well, I need to go to the back to get the rest of your paperwork together and make sure your space is ready for you. I'll be back to get you shortly. Miss Tina, is it? Yes? I don't think I'm a drug addict. I mean, sure, I do smoke, but I'm nothing like that. I see. Why don't you read those pamphlets and decide for yourself? The treatment is completely optional. Okay. Why are you a drug addict? Oh no, you tell me. 
If you answer yes to any of these questions, you are an addict. I'm okay. Do you do drugs alone? Not all the time. Have you ever lied or stolen for drugs? Of course, how else am I going to get it? Are doing drugs affecting your life's happiness? I don't know. I can't feel anything when I'm on them. Is doing drugs making you careless about your family's welfare? I mean, I know I haven't been a good mother, but does that mean I'm a drug addict? Hey. Girl, you better go on, they gonna catch you. Do you know Slick? Thanks for coming through for me. No doubt. It doesn't that defeat the purpose? Look, you don't understand, okay? The food's bad. These females crazy. My roommate snores and I'm trying to fight the urge to smother her in her sleep. By the way, I met a fan of yours in here. I'm pretty sure you'll meet a lot of my fans in here. You know Amy? What? Amy. That's her name. She was asking about you. Schizo Amy? Yeah, I know. I'm sure you do. Chantel! What are you doing? <laughs> Gotta go. Hey, make sure you give me some medicine here, man. Yes, come in. Um, hi, Miss Tina. I hope I'm not bothering you. No, we have an open door policy. That's good to know. I need to tell you something. What's going on? Are you quitting? I got high last night. What, last night? Where? And was anyone with you? No. It was that guy you snuck off to see, wasn't it? Look, I'm really sorry. It was just a slip up. But I really do want to finish the program. Well, you won't be finishing it here. I can't allow it. You could have put someone's life on the line. I know. I feel bad. You should. We work hard here. Some of us used to be addicts, too. We put our names and our own lives on the line every day to help those who want to be helped. I'm sorry. Please, please, I'm sorry. Please give me another chance. I will do anything. I can't leave here the same way I came in. If I do, I'm going to die. All right. All right. I'm gonna give you one more chance, but I'm going to place you on heavy restrictions. He heavy what? 
There's no food allowed in the dorm rooms. No visitors after 6 p.m. And there will be no tolerance for any fighting in here. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. Oh, did you uh, make your family aware that you're going to be here? Yes, ma'am. Okay, one more thing. If you did not follow these rules, we will dismiss you immediately. Yes, ma'am. This is your study guide. The Bible? Is that a little too unfamiliar for you? I could have read a Bible before I got here. Well, did you? So I'm not going to be given any NA books to help me with step works? Your journey is a little different from everyone else's. Your steps come straight from the Bible. And when we strengthen you, first we do it spiritually, mentally, physically. And if you need any help or don't understand something, I am here for you. I'll help you. The scripture says in Hosea chapter 4 verse 6 that my people are being destroyed for a lack of knowledge. That word knowledge is a very powerful word. It comes from the word yada, Y-A-D-A, which has to do with kinsmanship friendship, relationship. And so what he's saying in this scripture and what it's telling us is that in order for us to have a good life and not be destroyed, we have to gain wisdom and knowledge. Knowledge with him, relationship, knowing who he is and the benefits he has for each and every one of us. It's time to stop being selfish. It's time to think about other people who are depending on us to make the right decisions. As a matter of fact, tomorrow night, I'm going to be speaking at an event, and I want to make a personal invitation to each one of you. I want you to come and be my special guest. It's going to be an awesome event. A young lady, God has a calling on your life. What, me? Yes, you. Who's calling me? God's calling you. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I'm definitely not someone Jesus would want to talk to. Well, the thing is, is that's what he wants to do. He wants to talk to you. But the key is you being ready to receive him. Him? Yes, Jesus. Nah, I don't even know Jesus like that. I mean, not yet. Well, the thing is, he knows you. And eventually, you're going to want to know him. So everybody, I look forward to seeing y'all tomorrow night. It's going to be an awesome time together. God bless you. Young lady, take this seriously. God has a major calling on your life. Um, thanks, Pastor. La, 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 la. you to do this if you need God in your life and you need God to make some changes in your life meet me up here right quick I just want to pray with you just move quickly don't wait don't don't hesitate don't think about it just move quickly I'd love to come into agreement with you some of you facing some mountains Take over me. Take over me. Consume me. Consume me. Give me a relationship.
relationship with you. Give me a relationship. In Jesus' name. name. In Jesus' 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 name. Amen. 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 The Spirit of the Lord is on you right now. The Spirit of the Lord is upon you right now. This is a transformation you've been praying for. This is what your family's been praying for. This is the moment you've cried about. Cried out to God. And you've asked God to bring this season into your life. And this is your season right now. Chains are being broken off of you right now. Generational curses are being broken off of you right now. This is your season. This is your moment for a turnaround. God has arrested this moment for you to have victory, for you to have freedom, for you to walk into your destiny, your God-given destiny. Give him praise right now, everybody. Lift up your hands and bless his name. Celebrate for my sister right now. Receive, receive blessings. Receive right now in Jesus' name. Devil, I dare you to touch my sister again. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Loose my sister and set her free. Loose her from her past. God, I pray that you would propel her into her future, into her God-given destiny. There won't be no hex, no curse, no nothing that will keep you from walking into what God has called you to walk into. Rejoice with my sister one more time. Jessica. What? I got the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost, great. No, I went to Bible study last night. It was so awesome and so amazing. Oh my God. <laughs> Tammy, I got the Holy Ghost. Chantel, we have pizza. Are you coming to join us? Oh, no thanks. Anything wrong? I haven't seen you eat for days, girl. I'm eating. It's just a different type of food. Oh, okay. Well, I'm not going to argue with a woman on a mission. Y'all crazy. I'm going to do what I want to do. Me. Girl, put this shirt back on. Don't you take this off of me. Stop it. I think you're doing a great job in spiritual developmental courses. So, we would like to know how you feel about teaching others the Word of God. <laughs> me? Oh, God, no, no. Lord, not me. Why not you? Why not me? How can I teach people how to live when I'm still in rehab? I cannot deny that there's a calling on your life. And I cannot deny what the Spirit has led me to tell you. And that's teaching. I done grew up around arguing, fighting, cussing, killing. I've seen mothers sell their furniture and their kids' toys just to get high and buy, okay? I don't know nothing about no preaching. What you just said right there will preach. Look, just sleep on it a while. Also, there's a Bible verse, Ephesians 1, 17 through 19. I want you to meditate on it. What's it about? Study it. And then you come back and tell me. In the meantime, think about my offer. All right. Don't be afraid of the calling on your life. You have a strong testimony. Just think of how many people, women, you will help.
Just remember, you can't hang around with the same bad influences. Funny, someone told me the exact same thing. <laughs> you should be proud. You came from a long, difficult, and a very hard place. So now you can make something good out of yourself. Thank you, Miss Margaret. Wow. Now. <laughs> Look, just because you decide to get clean, it doesn't mean I'm gonna get clean. <laughs> and I'm just saying, I'm not gonna stop smoking. I'm not. What is so funny? Nothing. Nothing's funny. Thanks for picking me up. I really appreciate it. Thanks for being a really good friend. You're welcome. She has accepted her call to preach, and um, I want her to come and share from the word of the Lord. Would y'all please make some noise and celebrate my sis, Chantel, as she comes to minister today. Amen, amen. Hallelujah. Is there anyone else who's grateful that even in my mess, God sees a calling on my life? That God will still use you? My name is Chantel Taylor. I am very unqualified on paper, but I'm so grateful that God qualifies the called. And I answered the call. I feel the power of the Holy Spirit. I thought it was fear. But when it says the spirit of the Lord is here, there is liberty. So right now, I'm going to give every demon in this room five seconds to get out. Because if I'm getting free, that means everyone connected to me is getting free too. So you got five, four, three, two, one. I'm going to lift up a shout of praise because if I can get free from crack cocaine, what can you get free from? You can get free from free. You can get free from lust. You can get free from drug addiction, homeless, whatever it is. If I can get free, you can get free as well. Holy Spirit. I'm going to hit you real quick with a wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. And get out. I'm speaking from Mark 5, verses 5 through 8. It says, day and night he wandered among the burial caves and in the hills, howling and cutting himself with sharp stones. When Jesus was still some distance away, the man saw him, ran to meet him, and bowed low before him. The title of my sermon is, Prepare to Come Out of Dark Places. Would you bow your heads with me briefly? Father God, I magnify your holy name. Father, I lift you up. I also decrease so that you may increase, Lord. Please make my tongue a ready sword to cut against the enemy and every demonic voice that is trying to keep your people in bondage. I ask that the Holy Spirit infect this place, Lord. Release the fire of God. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Have you made preparations to come out of your dark places? You know, your caves, where you handle your depression, your isolation, your sadness. What do your hands touch in your cave? Who do you drag in your dark places? For me, how I dealt with my breakups was finding another man to save. Oh, but God, he needs me. I can change him. How many of you are looking for projects? How many of you are in ungodly relationships simply because that person was available? What are you doing in your cave? 
How do you handle your sadness? I'm here to tell you that the Bible talks about dark places. In Psalms 23, 4, it says, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Let's stop right there, valley. If there's a valley, that means there's a peak at the bef before me and behind me. And if there's a shadow, in order for a shadow to exist, that means there has to be light in the mid of darkness. For those of you who are in some darkness, I need you to know there's a present help. There is a present light right next to you, but you got to keep walking. Do not get content in your darkness places I need you to understand don't pitch a tent in hell some of you are content with your family conflict you are content that you and your daughter don't speak anymore pack up your tent and get ready to walk the only way you're gonna come out of dark places if you keep moving to the light and I need to let you know if I could keep walking even though I stumbled I gave myself permission to try again give yourself permission to try again how do you get out of dark places Chantel I'm glad you asked James 5 16 says confess your sins to one another and pray for each other so that you may be healed for the prayers of a good man are both righteous and effective so what does that mean some of you keep coming here and you are suffering in silence nobody knows what you're going through you are lying convincingly when someone says how are you when you say okay and that silence is the enemy putting a muzzle on your mouth of shame and shame is why you go in your cave shame is why I was doing crack in my cave what are you doing in your cave come to the light you got to talk to some body about it and under the sound of my voice whatever God is revealing to you he wants to release it from you whatever he is revealing to you he wants to release it from you in the name of Jesus some of you are looking at me who is she why is she talking I'm somebody who's been clean from crack cocaine for seven months right now I'm somebody who has never I grew up in a household and a community of women selling their furniture for drugs, selling their kids toys for drugs, watching drug dealers take the money, knowing that they're killing other people. But you know what? When we are in dark places, we lack empathy. Because when we are in a cave, we are a victim and a villain. What are you, who are you hurting because you choose to stay in your dark places? My God, I'm here to let you know that you cannot be selfish with your testimony. Someone's life is dependent on it. People are not relating to you simply because you've overcome. I need to know that you struggled with something and you got through. That's gonna keep me encouraged. And some of you, you gotta open your mouth. Stop suffering in silence. The prayers of a good man are righteous and effective. And as it says in Ezekiel 33, 6, if I see the sword and I do not blow the trumpet, your blood will be on my hands. I don't want your blood on my hands. I shared my word. I share my word. You go share your word too. Thank you, Jesus. Don't tell me you're crying. Jen, leave her alone. Your mommy. Ayo. All this time, I never thought about how I was living, or if I was really even living. Yeah, it hit me like that too. Change was destined to happen. God had a plan for my life, and I finally started to listen. Something my father wanted. What about your parents? Did they ever come to see you? My mom was locked up. She was the quiet type always kept to herself, but one day, the wrong man rubbed her the wrong way and she shot him. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> See, them quiet people can be deadly. So, what was your dad? Let me guess. I bet he was a big time gangster. Actually, he was a deacon. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, what? For real? He always tried to get me to go to church, but I just wanted to get high. So we had an agreement. He would leave me alone as long as he could take the kids to church. He kept his distance and just prayed for me. And how would you know that? My kids would tell me. They would also tell me that they were praying for me as well. I'm sure it was their prayers that kept me saved many of nights. My kids pray for me. Matter of fact, they call me every day just to tell me they love me. Okay, I mean, how long has your man been locked up? Shouldn't he be out by now? Crazy thing, he been out. Oh, what? He got out for a little while and didn't even tell me. But how can someone who say they love you do that to you? Well, the last time we had a visit, we had an argument. He didn't like me telling him how to change and he said he didn't want anything to do with me or God. 
So I got mad and I said, well, if you don't want God, then you don't want me. I thought eventually he would change his mind. It's too bad you saw it wrong. I just need somebody that's gonna hold me down like I hold them down, you know? Okay. You know, if you're with it, let's get it. If you're with it, let's get it. Hold up. Ah, oh, hell no. Hey, just, uh, everything ain't gonna be cold. Yeah, look, don't worry about that. Just stay right here, all right? I should cut your genitals off and FedEx them to your mom. But what? What are you doing? What are you doing, Terrence? Look, man, cool out. So it's bad enough you got out of jail and didn't tell me. And now you up here with some hoochie? Look, she ain't no hoochie. hoochie look, you know he married, right? Look, she ain't he no didn't hoochie. tell me he was married. Who are you talking? Hey. Say something else. Say something else smart hey, to Chantel. me so I can rip your tongue out look, your hey, mouth. Hey, hey, you a preacher, remember? You need to cool out. Why you got me out here looking stupid? I ain't got you out here looking stupid. What, you want a divorce? No. Nah. And why you acting like it, Terrence? Good for nothing, nigga. Hey. Don't call me. Look, who, uh. Hey. Uh, uh, what? You don't even know her name, do you? Look, man, shut up. Hey. Shame. Yo. Chantel. Hey. Yo. Hey, y'all quit walking away from me. Chantel. Hey. So. He was talking about trying something new, like skydiving, right? But he's afraid of heights. Talking about, I may not make it back alive. I told him, you're not leaving me broke. You better go sign some life insurance papers and then you can go and skydive. <laughs> Die? That's a little severe, don't you think? No. Girl, you crazy. I'm so serious though. Oh, excuse me, I gotta go get this. Hello? Hey, baby, it's me. Terrence. Terrence. What's going on? Terrence, is everything okay? It sounds a little noisy out you there. You are no good. Yeah, everything cool. What you up to? How you doing? I'm blessed and highly favored. <laughs> blessed and highly favored, huh? Preacher lady. But what's up with you? Nothing much. About ready to come home. You miss me? Hello? I'm here. Well, uh, I got some things I need to straighten out, but uh, I'll be there in a couple days. Okay. I'll let you know when I'm on my way. Hey girl, I just want to thank you again for having us open for Bible study. Even though you got a bit off, it was still good. It was my pleasure. Are you alright? That was my husband. He said he wants to come home. Oh! Praise the Lord. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Look, Shantay. Use wisdom. Proceed with caution. Pray on that thing, you hear? Oh, I'm praying. I'm praying hard. Let the Lord guide and lead you. Yeah, you're right. Thank you, ladies. Honey, I'm home. What up? Going through my stuff, inspect the gadget. Still playing games, huh? That's my nephew. Mm-hmm, sure it is. And is this your little nephew's too? Yeah, 
is. Terrence, I'm gonna kick your butt. You know good and well that's not your little nephew's bra. So you don't believe me? No. And I should call Tasha and tell her that you lying on her Please son. Please don't call Tasha. You know she going act crazy. Yeah, you know Tasha would kick your butt. Hey, look. You ain't never gotta worry about that again. All right. Look, I promise. Mmm. I'm hungry. What you cooking? <laughs> what you talk about the place? Then? Girl, I'm saying she can't be up there with a mouth full of cavities. Okay, with red lipstick on her teeth. Get Stop. your girl. You crazy. <laughs> I was just talking to her. Girl, come on in. I was just telling her about it yesterday. Too. Yeah, there's enough. Chantel, yeah, I need to go take the jello out the oven. Wait, it's, I'll, I'll catch up with you later. It's okay. Yeah, you better Get be. out. Excuse me. Don't be back. Look, man, don't be running my clients out like that. And you know you can't be doing that mess in my house. Well, this mess putting money in your pocket, right? This mess been paying the bills up in here since I've been locked up. Where you think that money came from? La boy, I don't need your drug money, and I don't need you. You can go. Oh, I can go now, huh? Oh, I can leave, huh? What happened to the OT? Well, how am I gonna get back? I grew up. Look, too bad your bank account did. I don't need your drug money, and I don't need you. You can bounce. Look, I'll pay the bills up here. I ain't going nowhere. You can go if you want to. Matter of fact, get your hands off me. Get your hands off me. Stop. Man, what's wrong with you? You know anything I do now is self defense. I don't think it works like that. That's not what it work is. You running my clients out here telling me how to do my business. This is my house. Mine! Go do your business somewhere else! That's self-defense. No more. No more, Terrence. I'm not doing this with you no more. Can I run my business? Mess with my money? <laughs> what? Jeez. Hey, baby, I made breakfast. Sit down, I'll make you a plate. I'm not hungry. <sighs> Look, Chantel, yesterday got a little out of hand, all right? Look, I'm sorry. Look, but I made breakfast, so let me make it up to you. I said I'm not hungry. Look, I said I'm sorry, all right? I made breakfast, let me make it up to you. brings you by. Pastor Green, Green called me to come check on you. Is everything okay? Everything good? What's going on? Chantel and I need to talk alone. No, nah, this is my house. Anything you gotta say, you can say right here, right now. Terrence, it, it's all right. Look, I gotta handle some business. She better be gone by the time I get back. I'm so sorry you had to experience that. It's okay. Chantel, if you ever need anything, anyone just to talk to, I'm always here. Thanks, Carol. I really appreciate 
Where your little buddy go? Drunk in front of me. <laughs> oh, you talking about me, huh? You talking about me, huh? How about your little church friend? Sister, somebody? I'm not doing this with you right now. Hey, hey, hold up. Think you was high and mighty? Don't forget who paid the bills up in here. This is my house. This is my house. This is my house. I didn't have to let you come back in the first place. Now, who are you talking to? You better talk to me with some respect. <laughs> you think you better than me, don't you? What you gonna do? You think you better than me. What you gonna do? Nothing. Oh, stupid! Get out of my house. No, you get out. Get out of my house. No, you get out, get out, out of my house. Get out of my house. Get off me, are you crazy? Get off of me. Let's go. Get off me and don't come back. Come on, pick, come on, Ray, pick up the phone. I need you. Come on, pick up the phone. Hello? Ray, come quick. He's gone crazy. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm already pulling up. All right. Look, Chantel, look, I ain't trying to do this with you, but you keep pushing me to the edge. Look, I'm trying. You I... the spirit controlling you, making you. Look, I'm not you're... trying to hear nothing about no spirit. You're not even Man, what spirit? Mind. Say, what's going on in here? Man. Oh, all right. Oh, all right. We've been arguing all day. He's been drinking. I have never seen him like this before. You gonna come up in my house like that? You come up in here, you, you call him and come get me or something? Huh? The house I pay the bills at? Terrence, what are you doing? Let's leave, let's go. Let's go. Nah, sis, we ain't going nowhere. You gotta roll, cuz. I'm so sorry. I didn't know he had a gun. Look, I'm gonna call the police right now to make sure he doesn't come back here. Evening, Miss Taylor. My name's Officer Harper. I'm responding to a call about an individual. Is he still around here? No, no, he's he's not. Well, we're here to help, but if there's anything you're holding back, there's not much we can do for you. Yeah, I understand. I, I really don't know where he went. You let us know if he comes back, because we want this to stop before it gets worse. Yeah, and, and he won't be able to get in because he left his keys inside. Well, we'll leave an undercover patrol car in the neighborhood, just in case. But you take care of yourself, Miss Taylor. All right. Thank you, Officer Not Harper. a problem. Not now, okay? Not now, girl. Listen to me. Terrence is at my house right now, and he is going off. Robert's egging him on. What in the world is going on? Look, your brother is a maniac. Girl, what are you talking about? Kira, he put hands on me, and he pulled a gun out on Ray. <sighs> I'm sorry. I didn't know. I didn't know, girl. I'm sorry. I didn't know. Get out of here. Oh my God, oh. mess in here. Oh, goodness. Oh. Hey, get under here. Okay. Oh. Oh, you good? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Boy, quiet in here. Hey, hey, can we get some real music in here, please? Ah, 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 okay. Right. I don't want all that cursing up in my house. Cursing? Now. What? Girl, you are tripping. We need to hear something up in here. Something. For okay, real. well, I'll go get my gospel out. Oh, gospel. Come on, now. Nobody trying to hear them old Negro spirituals you be playing all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Look, man, I got some Maxwell in the car. You still like Maxwell, oh, don't you? Yes. 
Shay, you used to love Maxwell. Come on, you are tripping. Come on. Like I said, I'll go get my gospel albums, okay? Holy Ghost filled church households. Please go to your car and get them CDs for me. Good I'll idea. take care of them while you go. Yes, thank you. All right, I'll take care of this book for you, too. Mrs. Tyler, Mrs. Tyler, Mrs. Tyler, I need you to start from the beginning, please. What? How did it all start? Ms. Tyler, Ms. Tyler, the incident, I need for you to tell me, how did it start? Yes, yes, ma'am. What happened? Um. Uh, me, me and my hu husband, we eat eggs. Was there an argument? I should get out of there. I should get, I should, I should get pastor. Pastor? Mrs. And, Taylor, are you all right? And my brother, and my, and my brother, where's my brother? Is he okay? Your brother? is in the ICU, but right now I need to know what happened. Is he going to be okay? I am certain that the hospital is doing the very best that they can, but right now, Miss Taylor, I need to know how did this start? No. No. Je Jesus, Jesus, please keep him alive. Please keep Ray alive. In the name of Jesus. Mrs. Taylor, take your moment. I'll be back in just a few minutes. Lord, I need help. 
I need change. Please send something, anything. I can't take this anymore. I can't take this anymore, please. Dear Mrs. Taylor, we have heard of your exceptional preaching and would like to know if you would fill in for our pastor in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. We would pay for all of your moving expenses and your transition. Please contact Julie within the next... Divorce papers? Wait. God can still save our marriage. He can still change you. I'll be back with my stuff later. Hi, um, can I speak to Julie, please? What happened to Kira? She didn't make it. The bullet passed through a major artery and she bled out. I loved her so much. She was always there. She was my sister, my best friend. So what happened to your brother? He was lucky, but not so lucky. He survived the gunshot, but he got a one life sentence for attempted murder. At least your husband pulled through? Yeah, it was amazing. God still had plans for him. Oh, so I mean getting shot up wasn't good enough? That was Satan's plan. God had plans for his soul. So God had plans for his soul and not his body? I don't get it. We have free will to do whatever we want. Therefore, God will not force us to follow his will. I still don't get it. You have kids, right? Yeah. And you raise them to the best of your ability, right? Most definitely. Nobody loves my babies more than me. And when they become of age, you hope they make the best decisions and don't get into trouble. But even if they do, you'll still be there for them, right? Yeah, of course. They're my children no matter what. I'll always love them. Get it now? Lisa, did you come closer? She did too. Plus, the chair was hurting my butt. Okay. Speaking of kids, how are yours doing during all of this? They came along. It was difficult. I sat my boys down and I apologized to them without any excuses for not being the mother they deserved. Then I heard them tell me how my drug addiction and distancing made them feel, which put a hole in my soul. I can only imagine. Afterwards, they forgave me and I promised them I would be the best mother I could possibly be. 
we agreed that this was a part of our past and it was not gonna be brought up anymore unless it was gonna be used as a testimony. And to this day, my boys have not thrown this back in my face. That is wonderful. I hope my kids forgive me like that. It's difficult, but we have to let our children open up and hear them out, no matter how much it hurts for them to be healed too. I don't understand. Why were you sad about leaving an abusive husband? Because that was her husband. That bond took years to make. Yeah. Leaving always seems like the best option, but it feels like the worst while it's happening. So please tell me you got over him. In time, yes. But I had to move and start new. So I packed my stuff up and answered the calling. The church letter calling? God knew what he was doing when he did it. Terrence gave me a way out and the letter gave me direction. Seems he did you a favor. Yeah, but he also suffered in our relationship. How's that? He lost family members and his mother, brother, and cousins were emotionally destroyed. Well, please tell me you got out of there. I did. In 2003, I was evangelizing in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. I went back to school, I got a degree, I got a good job, and I started mentoring. But late one night, I got a phone call from, guess who? Oh boy, you're wow. some damn. I'm in the hospital. Terrence? Chantel, they say it's pneumonia. Pneumonia? That's serious. Well, I'll, I'll keep you in my prayers. Can you, um... Chantel, can you come visit me? I'm at the Vanderbilt Hospital in Nashville. Terrence, I... Hey, just... Just think about it. If you can. Okay. Mr. Taylor, I'm gonna check on you. He's checking out your IV. It's running okay. Listen to your lungs and your heart. Oh, well, I gotta go. Yes, I'm, I'm fine. Who are you here to see? Terrence Taylor. That's his room right there. Thank you. Lord, please give me the strength to do your will. In Jesus' name, amen. So, hello, who is she? Look, Jackie, this is Chantel. <laughs> Chantel, this is Jackie. Chantel? Hey, Jackie. You are not even supposed to be here. Look, nah, it's cool, I want her here. You want her here? Yeah. You want her here? The dreaded Chantel, the one that I had to hear so much about. Jackie. How she broke your heart. Oh, oh, and let's not forget how she, she, she got you shot. This? This is what you want. I'm just here to pray. I don't give a, you know what? <laughs> I almost, I, you, you. Jackie. If you want her here, you definitely don't want me here. Jackie. No, no, 
You got me in here looking like a darn fool. Sister come in the house and you just forget about everything. Yeah. You know what? She coming to pray. She better pray. You better pray. I don't come back. Look, I'm, I'm sorry about that. But I'm glad you came. It wasn't easy. I turned around several times and I thought about not coming at all. Well, I'm glad you did. Well, thank the Lord. He even gave me a drink. Chantel. I'm dying. Every day, life goes on, you know, and mine grows shorter. Well, do you want to keep living the same way you've been living? No, not like this. Do you want to be changed in Christ's image? Chantel, I don't know. I don't even know what that means. You'll start to have peace of mind, body, and soul. Heavy burdens will feel lifted off of you. And the warm love of God will overtake you. <laughs> That's the peace in your eyes. This whole time, I thought it was that pastor that made you feel like this. No, it was Jesus. That's what I need. I need Jesus. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I need him. I need that, Chantel. <laughs> You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Do you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? I don't even know. Well, I'm willing to spend some time with you and teach you about him if you let me. You don't think it's too late? No. God has been waiting for you. <laughs> yes. Please teach me. Does forgiveness really do that for you? Do what? Give you peace and joy like that. Yes, that and much more. Reverend Thomas, I forgive you. I forgive you. I forgive you. <laughs> I forgive you, Bobby. I know I haven't been a good daughter. You abused me and you left me. <laughs> but I forgive you. I forgive you. Hi. 
just want my babies to forgive me for leaving them. Do you think they'll forgive me? Yes. You're their mother. Your heart will always beat for them and their heart for yours. They may be mad, but that's only because they're hurt. Chantel, I mean, I'm sorry, Mrs. Cross. I want to be saved. I've always wanted a relationship with God. <laughs> There was just so many people around me and I couldn't trust anyone. But I trust you. I need about 15 minutes. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord, thank you. Oh, I believe you, Lord, I receive it. Right now, God, in the name of Jesus, I receive and I believe right now. Mrs. Cross, excuse me. You know, after all you've been through, I just can't believe that you still got joy. Still have joy, stupid. Why is English so hard for you? Lisa, really? I'm sorry. Huh. <laughs> That's okay. You can give me a better apology later. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I was just playing. Oh, I got joy now. <laughs> you crazy, you know that? Well, there's more to the story. What? Next time I come, I'll explain. That's fine. I mean, I do want to hear more, but I'm okay. That means you're just going to see me. I mean, ah. come see us some more and, and talk to us, right? Right.